from babies to tarantulas. People have discovered the most unreal things in hotel rooms. I'm Melissa Milotti, your host, and here are your top 10 terrifying things discovered in hotel rooms. In our number 10 spot, we have tarantulas. Yeah, I've never been a spider person myself, and those of you that are, well, Honestly, I'd love to analyze your childhood. But in any case, yes, a tarantula was once discovered in a hotel room. Probably the most frightening thing ever. A couple was on a trip in Thailand and going to bed when they saw a shadow on the wall. Obviously being nervous as to what the heck it was, they immediately turned the lights on and Bam, there it was, a giant tarantula on the wall. Holy crap, I'm pretty sure I would have been terrified to sleep again after that, even after it had been removed. In our number nine spot, we have a firearm. A maid was cleaning the hotel room one day when she found a firearm, a revolver, under the bed. Whoa, that would very much terrify me. I would probably have had a moment of, you know, looking around the room, feeling fearful that someone scary was hiding and going to jump out of the shower or something any minute, so yeah, that would have been terrifying. Anyways, unfortunately, the hotel was unable to locate the owner as the hotel only vacuums under the bed every six months. I wish... I wish I knew what hotel that was because every six months doesn't seem very sanitary. You would think that the maids would still look under the bed just in case there isn't any inappropriate, you know, adult items lying around, but maybe that's just me, I don't know. In our number eight spot, we have a webcam. This one is another one that's uh, probably out of one of my worst nightmares and feels like it's also straight out of a horror movie. A man was just, you know, unpacking his things in his hotel room when he discovered something flash in the vent. Of course, being curious, he decided to inspect it. What he found was a webcam. Who knows where that footage was being streamed to, but it is still so, so freaky. The camera was seemingly dying as that's why it was flashing, but Lord knows how much it already streamed. Pretty nerve wracking. In our number seven spot, we have the toenail bag. Look, I understand if you fast forward this one because when I read about it, I almost puked in my mouth. But then I had a sip of my delicious coffee beside me and all was well in the world again. One day, when a manager was on duty, the cleaning staff reported to him that they had found a bag filled with a disturbing amount of toenail clippings. Oh, <laughs> so gross. If there were more than 10, then you know that whoever had this bag was keeping maybe theirs and someone else's, but but wait, <laughs> actually it doesn't matter how many because the fact that they're keeping them at all, let alone in a bag for whatever reason is, is very disturbing. <laughs> is that like a weird fetish that I've never heard about? Yikes, that's so gross. <laughs> I can't help but laugh, it's very disturbing. In our number six spot, we have baby ducks. Apparently, there once was a guest that possibly rescued a bunch of little ducklings after their mother died, or perhaps she was the reason their mother died, that part is unclear. Anyways, this guest kept the ducklings in a hotel bathtub and must have gotten bored and decided, all right, well, peace out ducklings, I'm over you, and then just left. Well, the hotel staff, of course, found the ducklings in the tub and then they transported them to the hotel office where someone came by and adopted them, thankfully. Even though the woman who put them in the tub is definitely questionable, I guess perhaps it might have been good as they might have had a harder time without their mother and who knows if they would have found their way. I don't know much about ducks and how long they need to be with their mom, but hopefully whoever took them took care of them well. In our number five spot, we have a bloody Bible. Well, this one is a bit intense to say the least. In a Motel 6, of course, a Motel 6, in Riverside, California, a man found a Bible in his room allegedly with blood smeared all over it. Of course, he concluded that this was either a a satanic ritual of some sort, B, someone who really dislikes the Bible, or C, someone who accidentally got a severe paper cut while reading the Bible. 
it happens. <laughs> if I ever found a bloody Bible, I would instantly assume that I had been cursed and would probably get on my knees and pray. Not that I'm very religious, but that scene would surely make anyone pray, right? Am I right or am I right or am I right? <laughs> I would then proceed to call all of my loved ones in case I die, and then begin to also persuade someone to pay for me to move to a Hilton where they leave little chocolates in your room, not bloody Bibles. This isn't an ad for Hilton. <laughs> in our number four spot, we have a snake. One night, a maintenance technician was working what he thought to be yet another shift, but boy, was he wrong. Around 10.30 in the evening, he gets a frantic call from the front desk lady telling him that he has to go check a room out now as there is a snake in there. There's a snake in my boot. I couldn't help myself. He thought that something was miscommunicated or someone was playing a prank but when he got to the room, he saw three guests terrified and yep, there was indeed a snake in the room. A massive one too. It was wrapped around the pullout sofa and it was right at the part you would have had to go to pull it out. Yikes, that gives me the heebie jeebies. I honestly am undecided as to what's worse to find in your room, a tarantula or a snake. We'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. In our number three spot, we have a corpse. I'm sure you were waiting for this one. I wonder how many times this has happened in hotel history. I really feel for hotel staff, man. They have to deal with so, so much. Baby ducklings, tarantulas, snakes, corpses. Whew. Anyways, a corpse was found underneath one of the beds in a room. The body was wrapped in a bag and the police suspected to be about a week dead when it was found. So that meant that a number of guests stayed in this room and slept on this bed with a corpse underneath it. That's it. I'm never staying in another hotel room without checking underneath the bed. These hotels really need to make their staff check under their beds more often. How scary. In our number two spot, we have the Rolex. A man went to his hotel room in Las Vegas only to open the door and discover a number of diamond necklaces, gold rings, and Rolex watches laid out on the bed. The value was anywhere from $30,000 to $100,000, probably closer to $100,000. Anyways, he just thought he had the wrong room. So he went downstairs, confirmed his room, and sure enough, it was his room. He decided to tell the staff what he found and the staff applauded him for his honesty and decided to give him a room upgrade. Honestly, that kind of money is life changing. I truly wonder how many people would have turned it into the staff. I bet you anything this man probably possibly regretted his decision afterwards. I would have definitely felt morally obliged to tell the truth, but it would have hurt my soul like at the same time. In our number one spot we have a baby, yup. A baby was found in a hotel room once in Mexico by a couple. They opened their door only to find the baby lying on their bed in a blanket. Not knowing what to do and also not knowing Spanish very well, they tried to speak to the front desk lady over the phone but she wasn't understanding them. So they brought the baby down to the front desk only to be approached by a crying lady and two cops and one of them handcuffed the couple. After a translator was found to smooth over the situation, the couple was told that the baby belonged to one of the cleaning staff who was new to the hotel and she couldn't remember the room she left her baby in and since she was new, she was too scared to tell her boss that she brought her baby into work, let alone forgot the room. So she ended up telling her friend and her friend called the cops. Wow, what a wild situation to get caught up in. I bet that's a story they will never forget. All right, well, that's all the time I have for you today, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'm Melissa Milotti, your host. Follow me on Insta or YouTube at Melissa Milotti, and I will see you next time. Have a good day. Sa.